Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm going to talk about some measuring tips and tricks for you. Uh, but if you're new here today, I invite you to subscribe and click the notification bell and let's get on with these measuring tips. Okay, let's start off today quickly with tape measures. This is a carpenter's tape measure, 25 feet. Uh, we don't need a 25 foot tape measure in the workshop. So what I like to do is pick up these smaller ones. They're usually 10 or 12 feet. Now I'm right handed so the first thing I do when I go to measure something is pick up a pencil in my right hand and then if I pick up a tape measure and I hold it in my left hand and most of the tape measures on the market are like this. When I hold them in my left hand the numbers are all upside down and I know it's been the cause of me marking things wrong because I because the numbers are upside down I've done that over the years but I discovered this a few years ago that you could actually buy tapes that when you hold them in your left hand look at this the numbers are the right way up and this tape is the single reason I've made so few mistakes is because when I mark stuff now I see the numbers the right way up and I just don't make mistakes when I use this kind of tape. Now I will tell you there are some tapes that have both. They'll have both numbers on the same tape so they'll have this and then they'll have another one upside down so it doesn't matter what hand you hold it in you'll be able to read the right way numbers. So just be aware that there are a variety of tapes and uh, all you have to do is go and look for them. I often find that I need to divide a board into two or three or four different um, equal pieces and rather than trying to measure across and <laughs> do all the math there's a really quick way of doing that and that is to for example if you wanted to divide even this board in half rather than trying to figure out it's 11 and a half inches and working the math to that you could just put it to 12 for example put the very tip of this side of the tape so right here put that and the very tip of the 12 put those right on the edge and then when you mark where the six inches in right on that six inch mark that's the center of the board and you can double check it easily by going to say 16 so again the very tip and the very tip of 16 and they go to 8 because that's half of it and I can see it's right dead in the middle because there's a seam running down there but it gets even more fun because you can divide it into five parts if you want so in this case um, I'm going to go to 20 so 5 times 4 is 20 so I now need to go every 4 inches so 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20 and that will give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal parts. Perfect. Quick and easy way of dividing a board. Now sometimes I need to measure from inside corner to inside corner to see if things are square uh, or sometimes I need to fit something in there and it's one of the jigs I need to make but for now what I do now is I just use two rulers and I really like to clamp them together because now I can combine this measurement with that one and I know exactly what it is but you know there's no reason that you couldn't use a small square and do exactly the same thing put them corner to corner uh, and again I like to clamp them so that it doesn't move on me and now I can read from there to there and add the, the measurements up and I know exactly what they are or I can just move them from end to end if I want to do that. Sometimes I need to find the center of different things. Maybe it's a dowel, uh, could be a lid that I'm making a pattern or something for and the quick way to do that is get yourself a square and a kind of a triangle and this is just a construction triangle uh, it'll work fine for this I like to clamp them just so that it doesn't move and basically what you do is you put the the angle right in the very V of the uh, square that you're using and now that's when you put for example a dowel in there I can hold that and you'll make a mark like that turn it 90 degrees, make another mark and there's the center of your doweling. Same thing exactly, don't move anything, exactly the same thing with this lid, just mark it, put it on the, the, the two ends and draw a line 
do a circle to turn 90 degrees or so, do another line, and where those lines intersect, it's a perfect middle of your circle. Any of you who have been following my channel for a while, uh, particularly when I'm doing things like picture frames, I always use what we call an engineer's square. And these are available at almost any stationery store around the world. Um, they still make them. They're very, very accurate. These ones are clear, so they're kind of hard to see. Uh, but I also have one of these, and these are okay. This is a construction uh triangle and you know what I was just I was just using my my ruler on it and it's there's a bit of a wow in it like that which you, you wouldn't expect and for construction who cares if it's off by a little bit but when you're doing things like picture frames and things like that in woodworking where you need exact measurements uh, pick yourself up some engineering squares it'll save you a lot of time and frustration well, that concludes my video for today, measuring hacks. And you know there's tons of these out here that I use. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, there'll be, I'm sure, a few more episodes of uh, different tips and tricks for measuring. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.